The discovery of new victims of Nth Telegram Room, which was a huge controversy in Korea recently, has made headlines again. To briefly explain about this incident, the person called Paksa devised a crime plan against minors. After leading female youth in the name of giving a part-time job, he sexually threatened and exploited them. The videos of the females were uploaded to the Telegram and traded for money. K-pop fans were once again outraged at the results that many victims were found to be the BTS fan cafe members. According to Seo Seung Hee, the head of the Korean Cyber Sex Violation Response Center stated that the Paksa would target women in their teens and 20s by going to idol fan cafes and manipulating victims into giving him revealing photos in which he would blackmail them with. Numerous K-pop stars have encouraged national petitions for thorough investigation and punishment of this nth room incident. Especially EXO members Baekhyun and Chanyeol, Momoland's Yeonu, 2PM's Chuno, and many other idol members publicly spoke up. Until this time, some netizens questioned how K-pop singers who seem to have little to do with this incident were leading the way. However, it turns out that many of the victims of this telegram room are members of BTS fan cafes, and they were aware of the seriousness of the incident once again. Then how did these criminals approach idol fans? This is BTS's official fan cafe. It has many as 1.5 million members and the number of postings per day is innumerable. In this place, fans quickly share information and news related to BTS and form the community. In order to prevent easy access by anti-fans, you must go through weekly tests to become a full member of the official cafe. It's a difficult level to pass unless you're a real fan, such as capturing the streaming BTS songs and guessing what the members said in the certain video. You must pass this test to qualify as a full-time member and be able to make posts. If you look at the cafe, there is a separated forum for socializing. Those are also divided by age and the fans share their contact information or SNS here without any burden. It seems that this place has probably became the main activity area for criminals. They pretended as if they were BTS fans and approached the K-Armies for their phone numbers and personal information. This is just terrible. The Korean government is revising the existing law on punishment of online grooming. Everyone who did this should be investigated and punished harshly. Also, I hope that K-pop fans who purely support idols will no longer be hurt. I'll be back with the next video.